Hello new eCognition user and welcome to this getting started video. We're gonna have a look at how to create a project. I'm gonna show you two ways, um, drag and drop and via the file menu. First, let's have a look at drag and drop. In the provided data folder, you're gonna have a TIFF file. Simply drag and drop that into eCognition developer and it will pop up. Um, you can change the layout up here, these two buttons, uh, data management layout and the rule set development layout. I'm gonna change the rule set development layout, rearrange windows so I know where I am. And now on the left hand side, you have the few settings. You see we have four layers. Actually, this is a Sentinel-2 image that I reduced to four bands. And you can change the combinations up here. At the bottom, if you click the image layer tab, you can change the stretch to standard deviation, linear, whatever. And you can combine the layers as you like. Um, you can combine three layers, uh, five or 10. You can have a look at the single layers in grayscale. Um, you also can colorize your single layers and um, you just can go wild here. So that's uh, a way how to look at the data and get the data into a project that was drag and drop. What we're gonna do now is Rename the layer aliases. By default, they're named layer one, two, three, and four, and till layer n, depending on the order of loading those layers into the project. You simply can double click here and rename them to the respective band name, so you know which layer is which. And now we're gonna save the project. Each project is stored in a workspace, right? A workspace is a container for projects, and if your project is not yet in a workspace, it's gonna ask you first to create or save a workspace and then you can save the project and the project's gonna be saved in that workspace directory. The advantage is that all the projects gonna be stored there and also the results by default if you don't change the string and that's just really convenient. Second approach, go to file, new project and that's gonna start this create project dialog navigate to the TIFF file, select it, open, and there you have your files. Here, you also can rename the layer aliases directly. That's what I'm doing here, blue, green, red, and an IR. You can rename the project so you can give it a name. You also could do it via drag and drop, so that's also possible, but here it's directly in this create project dialog. Hit OK and then you have a project with that name and the data. Quickly hit the save button so the project is saved because it's not automatically saved when you create a project. Okay, let's have a look at our workspace that I also created and saved previously. So go to data management layout and on the left hand side the workspace window will pop up. In my case, my workspace is called new workspace getting started. And within that workspace, I do have two projects. My first project, that's the one that we've opened here that we've created via file and new project. And the second one is the drag and drop. Um, what I showed you previously also is this second X here. If you X that one, it closes the project, but not the software. And now we also can simply open our second project here, which has the name of the input file. So you see it's a Sentinel-2. We also can simply modify it, right-click, modify and rename. Okay, I'm quickly gonna put up a screenshot of the folder structure. So you're gonna see that's the workspace file and you have a DPR folder in the workspace directory. Within there, all the projects are saved also the versioning projects so in case something ha is happening you always can go back to a previous version if you like all right so now you know how to create a project in ecognition developer